back, I had to start the camera back up because I didn't want the battery to be So, we was in Habakkuk, right? So read that one more time for me then you don't jump. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter two, verse one. No, no, uh, Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, this is Habakkuk chapter two, verse three. Uh, at the end it says, come, come. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So the prophets in the Bible was the vision, right? That the men of the Lord wrote down, right? Show that America's gonna fall, right? And it shall surely come, man. America's gonna fall. Now, uh, concerning that draft, right? Concerning that draft, now you got, now you got the headlines, right? Let me see if I can go find something. I think I sent it to you, then I, then I wrote, the, yeah, the draft, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me see, uh, let me see here. I may be, uh, I may be screenshot it, I don't know. Huh? What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see that. It says, uh, this right here, this the article I'm reading. I mean, this the article I'm looking at, right? That one, but it's another one too. It's another one too. It go from uh, they say the truth about the draft. It's another one too. I see. I see if I can look on that. Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't see that one. See, I didn't see that one. Look. See? Well, I'm over, this is the one I'm looking at. Right? That's the one I'm looking at. Now, the United States, it's a process concerning that draft, right? From 18 to 26, it's a process, right? They gotta go to the Congress, then they gotta go to the Senate, then they go to the uh, President to sign it, right? And the Senate is the one President still got to sign it, then it's going to take off in 2025. But in America, when you turn 18, you're supposed to uh, sign up to be in the military, right? It's, it's a $200,000 fine, 200 some odd thousand dollar fine if you don't, and it's five years in prison when you turn 18. But you're supposed to sign up for it, but they ain't been pushing it. So with this draft, that's going to automatically put 18 to 26 year olds into it, right, with the draft. But it still gotta go through the Senate, right? And the president have to sign it, you find me? Yeah, and the president have to sign it, right? So people are just reading the headline, oh, the draft, which is gonna come, because it's part of prophecy, right? Which is gonna come, because it's part of prophecy, okay, that in the pocket, but, but, the, the, the Senate is the one that's talking about putting the women in there, right? And the women is the one that's going to be uh, front line wide. Look what they're going to be, man. They're going to be getting popped on the front line while men are dying and while they dying, 
They're gonna be washing dishes to cook it. All that. While they're in the military, man. There's a lot of them gonna die over there. But they're gonna be frontline uh, wives for the military, man. To relieve some stress over there, man. And they're gonna be dying, man. So, a lot of women gonna get drafted, right? Because the model is, they looking at, see they study Ukraine, they see what Russia is doing. So they use Ukraine as a model. And they know they finna leave, a, they know they finna need a lot of bodies concerning going to war with Russia. They know that, right? So they gonna need women and men to participate in that, in that draft. And it's part of the problem. It's in the box, they tell you that. Right? Women go mourn for not having no um, husband or no groom. Let me let me let me actually look it up. In the park for women that want to mourn not having no bride groom. Second Ezra chapter six, sixteen. Matter of fact, check, check if I can get it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Second <laughs> Ezra chapter 16, uh, 33. Right? All right. See what you got right there? Mm -hmm. All right, what you got. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 33. It says, The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. Go ahead. It says in verse 34, And the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. See? So it's going to be a draft. It's going to be a draft, and a lot of these women going to have post-traumatic stress, just like the women over there in Ukraine. And see, Ukraine is a model for America and what they're gonna do. Cause they drafting women too, if I ain't mistaken. Putting them on the front line. They putting women on the front line over there. But a lot of the men are gone. And you got a lot of mercenaries over there. Okay? But going back to America, that's gonna take place. And when you watch Ukraine and the situation over there as far as the men, you can clearly see that it's easy for more than one man to have more than one woman at the same time and they know about it because of the war that's over there. Okay? The men are going to die, so it's going to, so men are going to die, masses of them. So it's going to be easy for seven women going to take hold of one man. It could be 200, 300, 400 thousand. It could be 200, 300, 400, or 8 thousand. You see, it's easy. All you gotta do is look at Ukraine as a model. The men over there are dead. Russia, they mopped them up. Okay? And concerning that uh, trial, so they gotta go through the Congress, gotta go through the Senate, and then they gotta go to the president to sign. And they're supposed to go into effect in 2025. That's what they say, but y'all can research. You know what I'm saying? Don't take my word for it. Do some research. You know what I'm saying? Do some research. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck, get it! Shut <laughs> up! Uh, uh, it says the internet confused people over U.S. military draft changes. Here is the truth. So, you look at this article and you'll find out. Uh, which I ain't finna go into it, but I just, I'm just showing you that concerning this graph. Now, another thing I want to show y'all, so read that for me again, call and read it. This is 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 33. The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the war, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. See? Perish of famine. See, when you study them Russians, 
they, they'll, they'll surround you and besiege you, right? That's what they doing, were doing to the military men over there in Ukraine where they wouldn't get no supplies and they were bumming them out, right? They were bumming them out. Over there, they, be, they call it a cauldron. They'll put you in the cauldron, right? Or besiege you, right? And uh, to where you can't get no supplies in from nobody. And being in war like that, and you need the supplies to survive, and food, and ammo, and all that to sustain yourself and survive, then what's gonna take place? You're gonna die of famine, man. Right? You see? You can get besieged over there. Now, I'm gonna read this other article. This on military.com, right? This on military.com. It says, even more Americans are unfit to serve a new study finds here's why, right? This is this is what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. This is this is military.com, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna read something to you. This is military.com, right? And that's the article, right? And what I want to do is uh is read a little bit of it. It says uh it says. A new study showed a, a new study from the Pentagon showed that 70% of young Americans would not qualify for the military service without a waiver due to being overweight, using drugs, or having or having mental and physical health problems. So the Pentagon already had a study on the American young population and they know that the young American people are on drugs, 70% of them are on drugs, uh, having mental and physical health problems, but they want to craft it, man. That's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You already it. But that's where it's at, man. You see? So, Give me what you got, continue on in the park. Let's continue on? Yeah. You got the roll in? Yeah, read that. All right. So still in the second, still in second Ezra chapter 16, verse 35. Right. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. So understand them, man. It's going to be a trap. You see? And the true servants of the Lord are the elect. You see? So we're giving you the plans of, of the heavenly father and his son, man. Right? What he gonna do to these people uh, by drafting them, man. Right? See, they gonna, they gonna lose, man. They gonna die out, man. Right? And these women gonna be mourning because they ain't gonna have no husband, right? no men, man. Right? They gonna be a shortage, man. Right? And like I said, Ukraine is a uh, study ground for uh, the West, the United States and these other nations, man. Right? I had them rushing to get down, man. Right? And they know they're gonna need a lot of people, man. Right? And they Pentagon and already did a study saying that youth is not ready, American youth is not ready because they on drugs, yeah. mental, and physical health problems. And they overweight. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a healthy diet. You know. So they gonna lose, right? So they gonna lose. So I just wanted to bring that out to y'all. But what we gonna do is drop that, right? And give me uh, Corinthians, right? We gonna drop that and jump, you know what I'm saying? So, brothers and sisters who are out there listening, you know, America's collapsing, and this is what it is. But while it's collapsing, we still gonna have to go through it, right? So give me what you got, bro. All right, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. See? So the light affliction that we're going through is going to give us eternal glory, man. So we just got to go through it, man. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, is there some more on it? Uh, Let's see if we can get some more out of it. This is uh, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, 
but at the things which are not seen. Mm -hmm. For the things which are seen are temporal, mm -hmm. but the things which are not seen are eternal. See? So that's what we're looking for, man. See? We're looking for things uh, that are eternal, man. But we catching it. So you got to think about them things. Okay? The eternal things. What the Heavenly Father and His Son going to grant. Lord willing, we endure to the end. Us. Because the miracle gonna fall and we gonna be here, man. And we gonna have to go through the light affliction. So give me what you got. This is Revelation chapter three, verse 11. It says, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. In other words, which we gonna get physical crown from you, I was shy. But in another sense, meaning don't let nobody, uh, don't let nobody uh, cause you to go astray concerning faith and believing Yahweh Shemel Shah while you're going through these life afflictions. You see? Because life is still going to take place while you on earth. So you're going to go through it. But don't let nobody persuade you or lead you to not have faith in Yahweh Shemel Shah. Keep your crown. And the men going to get a physical crown. Okay? So give me John. This is John chapter 14, verse 1. Go ahead. It says, let, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. Go ahead. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. The Father's house is space. So the Father's house is space. So in space, outside of this earth, Yahweh Shah said, my father's house got many mansions. So it's other planets. So we telling you to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah, the most high gonna give these men, which are gonna rule the elect of the nation of Israel, which is gonna rule other planets to rule on, man. Those things you gotta think about in your light affliction. See, go ahead. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So where's Yahweh Shai? With the Father. You see? In the Father's house. He in the spirit world. But in the Father's house, when you look at that, it goes into spirits. You know, the mansion goes into spirits and those are planets. See? Go ahead. Is that it on that? Verse 4. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. See? So we know Yahweh Shah going to the Father. And we know through the Spirit, uh, while we catching these afflictions, you know, it's for uh, uh, a greater glory, a eternal glory. And Achieving it and getting it is part of ruling on other planets, man. So we're gonna face the future, man. So I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rahakwadash. Double honors to the elders of Fossil GMS who do well. Salute to brothers pushing this word. And truth is sincerity and strength by Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters. Going to trust the spirit of power, y'all bless you now. Shalom to you too. So with that, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, and Mawafla two-thirds. Shalom, stay strong, search the scriptures, and pray for deliverance.